More than 30 million homes in Europe could meet all of their energy needs simply by using solar panels. That's according to a new study. This study also says that hundreds of millions of people will leave the grid worldwide over the next decade. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Researchers from the Karlsruhe Institute of Technology in Germany found that more than 50% of Europe's 41 million freestanding homes have been self-sufficient in 2020 using only solar and batteries. That figure will rise to 75% by 2050. Now that's just for Europe alone. And I mean, the fact that these numbers apply to Europe really does prove the point, doesn't it? Because Europe is not all that sunny in general. I mean, sure, yeah, there are sunny countries, but the majority of Europe's population actually doesn't live on the sun belt, whereas the majority of the world's population does live on the sun belt, where solar panels are actually much more efficient and effective. So if the study in Germany says that uh, actually solar, well, solar is about to hit 60% of all energy generation in Germany by the end of this year, but if it's so effective for personal private home use already today in a country as sunless as Germany, don't get me wrong, it's not sunless, but you know what I mean, in comparison to other countries, then what this means is we're going to see hundreds of millions of people leave the grid or just be completely self-sufficient with energy. In Australia, we're already seeing similar numbers. And the truth is that most Australian homes uh, we don't live in apartments here. Most people live in a home, in an actual freestanding house. And of course, we are one of the sunniest countries on the face of the earth. So this applies as much to us as anyone else. Some of the um, most intelligent uh, billionaires on the planet believe this is true as well. I've seen several interviews with some of them explaining what's going to happen and how human beings are going to change the way they live over the next couple of decades to the point where we'll leave grids completely behind. Now, I'm not sure if that will happen, but it could. Advances with solar technology mean that it will also make it economically viable for huge numbers of people living in freestanding single family homes to abandon the electrical grid altogether over the coming decades. Rather than abandoning the grid altogether, the researchers said it makes more sense at a macroeconomic scale for households to remain connected and feed excess energy back to other users during times of overproduction. EVs make this process so much more effective as well. Our results show that even in 2050, going off grid won't be the most economic choice, but it could make sense to invest in these kinds of self-sufficient buildings if you're willing to pay more for self-sufficiency, said lead researchers. It would be less efficient to have a large number of households abandoning the grid rather than supporting it. And that's the key reason. The research was detailed in a study titled 2 million European single family homes will abandon the grid by 2050, published in the scientific journal Jewel. Now, those numbers, obviously, you know, um, in terms of abandoning the grid completely, there's probably a reference more to people who are building new homes, especially in areas where it's, you know, more challenging to connect to the grid. People won't even bother. Why would you connect to the, why would you bother connecting to the grid when you, you know, you don't need to. You don't need to build expensive transmission lines to connect to the grid. You can just be completely self-sufficient. The price of solar panels has fallen significantly over the last few years, with the cost of solar power dropping by nearly 90% over the past 10 years, according to calculations made in September by Berlin-based Mercata Research Institute. But prices since September of last year have actually come down an additional 50%, meaning that solar is unbelievably cheap at its current prices. A lot of this is thanks to a price war between the three biggest solar producing companies, which are all based in China. The recent progress of renewables means that fossil fuel dominated projections are no longer realistic, said Femke Nish from the University of Exeter. Using three models that track positive feedbacks, we project that solar PV will dominate the global energy mix by the middle of this century. It's most likely that by 2050, more than 50% of the world's energy, they say, will come from solar panels. 
And this will really put paid to this idea that coal runs EVs, that um, we're better off using nuclear. It's all quite ridiculous, in my opinion. Um, really, we need to come to this realization that the future of the planet is um, solar and electric cars and batteries as well. Thanks for watching.